Okay, so we won our last two hard runs, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get three in a row and uh, we'll see what happens. Should I try... Okay, this time I might try a different layout here. So... Well, this one's interesting. Two blues, that's usually magic, so this is gonna be like a very high magic build, potentially. Well, there's no healer, but yeah, let's try it. Okay, we got Sickly. All heroes with three or less HP add pain to all sides. Woo. That's extremely scary, specifically with no healer. All monsters become immune to damage this turn every... Whoa. Okay, that is... I feel like that's pretty hard. Specifically with no healer as well, because it basically extends the fights pretty heavily. Unless you burst damage, I guess. Fight. 14 curse. 8 curse choose. Before fight... 14. Oh, before fight 14, choose a tier 8 curse. That sounds rough. And expensive spells when I'm running double magic is uh, <laughs> maybe not the best idea either. Hmm. I might try sickly. Hmm. That's not, it sounds rough, but maybe I have some healing spells eventually or something. Let's try it. We got burst, we got gather, replace blank size with plus two mana. That's pretty good. But it does cost two, so you need at least two blank size to make, you know, get value to that. And then slice is really good. Do we have, who has what? You have gather, you have slice. Scoundrel, okay, yeah, scoundrel is a very high RNG character. This is pristine four shield. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then 3 damage exert. Yeah, it's not too bad either. Okay. I wouldn't mind 3 damage exert here. And 2 shield is fine. Oh, you do want to roll. Mana single use. Okay. Ooh, nice AoE. That's pretty huge. And I would want... Maybe I hold on to the shield, it's a little bit dangerous otherwise, I feel like. Is it three or less for the curse? Oh, yeah, three. Oh, three or less. Yeah, okay, that's annoying. And this is only one mana, is it really worth holding on to actually? Probably not. I will hold on to this probably. Okay, well. Not much of a difference. Unfortunately, I can't kill. The student's gonna be in pain, but that doesn't really matter. And then I don't want Brigand in pain, probably. Yeah. So I'd be looking for two mana. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Scoundrel will roll blanks more often, so maybe the uh, gather is more useful. Right, surely I don't break here. Okay, that's fine. So if I do pain on, does it, I wonder if it shields first, let's see. Okay, so it does cancel out. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Gambler, I do like Gambler. It's a pretty fun unit. Scrapper. I feel like Scrapper could be pretty good with the AoE spell here and then, well, the AoE spell here and then the AoE side. Steel. We do have some shield, right? There's four shield here. Some shielding there. I've never played the Scrapper, so... The problem is it's replacing a unit that I think is pretty good. I think Gambler is usually just better than this. I mean... Depends on the fight, right? Yeah, I'll try Scrapper. Never played with it before, I think. Or at least I replaced it quickly if I did. One mana growth? Hmm. Should probably try to roll the cantrip. Hmm. Should I try 
try to roll into bloodlust or who's targeting what you okay so once i kill the bee this will no longer be taking damage which means i don't want to shield it which probably means i want bloodlust that's good force shield is good this is fine and then we'll have potentially two mana which is kind of awkward I guess I could burst that. I should still roll, right? Okay. Sure. Oh, I forgot the initiate would be in pain. That that was a mistake to shield us then. Not a huge deal, maybe. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bloodlust probably better. Okay. The boar, yeah, I need to kill the boar, so let's start going that direction. Or I could leave the boar alive and just uh, shield it. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it, right? Unless I... So this will be... 3 damage, and then I have 2, but it won't get rid of this... Um, hmm. And I guess I will if I use Burst. Still a little bit awkward though. Let me need to think about this again. So, yeah, it might be better to shield that. It's not as clean. Like, I can just do this, which is going to be a little bit cleaner. Then slice. Then kill that. Shield. Shield again. Gather. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just the steel HP is pretty annoying here. Yeah, that's fine. I guess in this case, it doesn't really matter. I don't want it to die to cantrip or something. Yeah, that's fine. Can I kill this? I think I can, right? So it would be double burst, kill. Cloak, cloak, replace the middle side with dodge all. And then tin tincture, add a cleanse to the rightmost side. Okay, that's a really weird item. Um, because I would assume that cleanse actually works on enemies. So like if I if I put this on someone who has a an attack here, it would just not not be useful, right? Compared to cloak. Which I think is just not very good for middle. Replacing middle is pretty rough. I'll take this and just hope to use it later. I do have one shield, alright. I'm pretty sure it's one of the better potential tier 1 relics. So like, cleanse is really useful. It's just not going to be applicable right now. Ooh, repeat AoE. That's uh, that's crazy. And I have bloodlust as well. And I got one free mana. Who's targeting what? You're targeting... Okay. I might keep this, just because I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to roll blank. So I can do this, then kill... Well, no, it's, I forgot, it's just that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so much blood loss damage. Glacia. Ooh, here's a very good question. Gain one mana doesn't target anything, so I'm assuming it doesn't work with cleanse. But what if it did? I don't think it does. Yeah, reduce target. Yeah, there's no target. Okay. Weaken single use. The spell is two damage. Weaken single cast, which is interesting. 
Not going to be very useful in long fights, but uh, actually I really like Juggler, but <clears throat> I feel like we play too much with Juggler already. But with two of these, I have pretty high odds of finding like, you know, Cantrip reroll and just going off. The problem is if this ever gets pain, we are in big trouble. Big, big trouble. So it'll replace student, right? Which has a slice, and slice is really good. I think I'm gonna replace the scoundrel. I feel like slice bloodlust is gonna be good. Slice plus uh, juggler is gonna be good. Although this is very good, but single cast means that uh, I don't know. It, it's it's probably good. Oh, I don't know. This is a good unit, I feel like. I don't know, Juggler is just so good, I feel like. I don't want to like, just pick a unit because I think it's cool. Okay, that's annoying. Is Pristine the unit? Yeah, if I have full HP, okay, good. Okay. Okay. Wait, this has 4 HP? Never realized that. <laughs> this was a pretty terrible turn. This might be problematic. Unless the juggler carries me. I'll keep the shield. I'll keep this. I'll keep Bloodlust. Oof. Okay, I could gather and gain two mana, which is good. So gather is pretty useful here. Hmm. I guess I'm not gonna slice, right? I'm gonna do three. Then kill that. And then try to shield as much as possible, but uh, the issue is that this will gain pain, but it's not a huge deal, right? I don't know why I did that. Whatever. I was gonna burst next turn anyways, it's not, it's not a huge deal. So this can convert this shield into damage, so I should hold on to both of those. And that's it, right? Uh, I could just give it shield, but whatever. Burning Blade, minus 2 HP, left side gains 4 damage. Or like gains uh, the face 4 damage. The problem with losing 2 HP is that I have the pain thing, so... Max HP is a little bit more valuable for me. Replace the top side with 1 damage range duplicate. I think that's not too bad. Could come in clutch. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any damage amplification, but... I don't know, do I value this that much? Seems fine. I might take it. Try it out. Unfortunately, I don't want to roll steel here. And I think I'm going to hold on to this because I really need shield. Okay, that's not good. Whatever, at least I got two mana. I got three mana, okay. Okay, so this is targeting bottom cleave. Once I kill the snake, this will not be a problem anymore, so I'm definitely killing the snake. So that means I can shield this, kill the snake, and then shield something else, probably this. I could also shield the buckler. I'd probably just value the damage more. Speeds up the run a little bit. Bloodlust is fine. I can definitely use it after it spawns the thing as well, potentially. 
Hopefully my juggler procs it. Okay, nice. Perfect. Yeah, I'll roll. No, actually, it's over, right? It's done. Just do this. Kill that. And kill that. Sparky. Okay, we've, we've already played with Sparky. It's a decent unit, I think. Specifically, if I'm playing double mage, that sounds pretty good. Burn... One damage to all heroes and monsters. I feel like I cannot run this unit just because, uh, I mean, we already have pain, right? Like, if it goes too low, I mean, I guess it already has pain, so. But then it might have pain on cantrip. This seems really hard to utilize. And also the self-damage also, you know, is a negative because of the pain thing, so. Sparky instead of student. Damn, I like slice so much, though. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know about random. Could be random. Maybe I go for random. I like this unit, though. It's, it's kind of fine, but it's not like that much better than the student, I feel like. Because I need shielding as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for random. Oh, new unit. Okay. Might go. Spore. Add Decay and plus one pip to target sides this turn. Gets minus one pip this fight after use. Okay, so it's basically a temporary plus one, right? And you can potentially hold on to it. Huh. Oh no, it says this turn. Okay, so yeah, it's a, it's a temporary plus one. That's pretty good, actually. And then... Oh, yeah, it has a revive. That's amazing. Plus one mana Decay. Ooh. Okay, I can... Okay, a very interesting unit, so... The mana generation is kind of capped with this unit. Well, over long long fights, right? Unless it buffs itself, which... I guess it can. Probably self-sufficient. That's a good unit. Revive the topmost ally. Does this work? I mean, why would it even matter if it works? <laughs> it's a better question. And I think I would replace this with the ranged... Maybe. Eh, maybe not. No, I I'm okay with dealing with range. Actually, not anymore. I don't have slice. Hmm. Well, in this fight, there's no range, so... Okay, barrel. Five damage to adjacent allies upon death. Please, please. Okay, that's actually unfortunate. Barrel, barrel placement is a little bit weird, because the goblins would flee, potentially. Can I stack enough shield here? Or what exactly would I be looking for with this unit? Mana, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. I would need four shield, right? Is there a potential way for me to destroy this barrel right now? So I can give plus two here. I need to protect the Initiate from something. It'll be just be mostly Militia. I guess I could burst shield, but I still need one more shield. I think I should probably hold this. Alright, let's try. Okay, that's not good. Well, actually I have Gather, that's not too bad. I can do Gather. Mana, Spore, and I can go to 5. Who's targeting what? Okay, this is scary, actually. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. I can't destroy anything. And this rolled the worst possible thing. Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. I mean, I was looking for mana. I did not roll mana a single time. So I can make this flee. But it would cost me... It wouldn't cost me that much, I guess. 
And then I guess I can protect one of my other units a little bit so it doesn't have pain. It's not I guess it's not too bad. Could could have gone worse, I guess. It's a really unfortunate revive, that was the main thing. Okay, this guy has to stop. Can it can it roll mana one time? Like I'm not asking for too much here. I might need to hold on to this. Who's targeting what? Okay, you're um that's annoying. Actually, that's really annoying. Probably want bloodlust then. Okay, that's not good. I don't have the damage unless I I know actually this will work. So that's alive now, and now uh, this is dead, but there's not much I can do about it. That's just unfortunate. Oh, whatever. Did I roll shield with this, or did I roll a blank? I guess I, I would have kept the shield, right? Oh, maybe I did roll the first shield, so that was my mistake. Two shield. This is hitting Scrapper. If I kill this... I might keep this, because then if I if I kill this... Maybe there's a way for me to kill this. That would be better. I have... I'm actually a little bit off. Not by too much. So in that case, maybe I do try to roll for damage. Or mana, yeah. I should. One. Yeah, that is just uh, very unfortunate. I can target Militia, though. And that way, my buckler survives. If I just rolled one damage, I would have been able to destroy the barrel. Okay, I have to not roll this, otherwise it's just gonna die, which is not cool. And then this is better off rolling either way. Okay, so that's it, right? Holy moly, this is, uh, oof. This is not going super well. Replace blank sides with one W's. Okay, I feel like this is very good, actually. Plus one incoming shields. Mm. Reasonable. Uh, with the specifically... Uh, but decay would not work very well with this, right? Well, I guess it would be two and then one, which is not... Oh no, but then it would decay again. Mm. So it's not that good with multi-hits. I guess that's why it's designed this way. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, so it's not that good with that. Plus one shield received is fine, I think. But, uh, yeah, I would like to have more damage consistency. So I'm gonna take this. I mean, this often wants to roll shield, this wants to roll any damage. Damn, Initiate's in pain already. That is so bad. This is really bad. Swap Buckle and Initiate. That is interesting. I mean... This being at the time... I, I wish it swapped Maiko and Buckle, but... I guess. I feel like I'm in trouble here if I don't get lucky. I have to overkill the goblin. Can I even do that? Yeah, I could do that with Scrapper. Okay, that's perfect. So now I need the burst damage from Scrapper. Ideally. Okay. And is that enough? Because I will have five, right? I can even do more. Okay, that's perfect then. I have to stop rolling this. So it would be this. It would be this, this, and that. Okay. 
Evoker. Pilgrim. Oh, Pilgrim. Pilgrim's good. Uh, preventing a unit from dying is good. Self shield is good. Stun is obviously good. Uh, is it that much better than Buckle? Meh. Is Evoker that much better than Initiate? Maybe. Drop is really nice as a DPS spell. That's interesting. I feel like stun is just so strong. I feel like Pilgrim is a unit that is very hard to pass up on. The utility is so huge. I think I'm going to take it. Sarcophagus. One. I, I flee at the end of turn three and drop a tier three to five item if defeated. Okay, so I have to focus it. These gnolls are a big problem. Big problem. Stun is good though. Ooh, it's summoning. Okay. So I have to kill that fast. Uh, the juggler is probably pretty good at that. I might want to use this actually instead of mana. Just to try to scale my attacks a little bit faster. But I guess if it rolls, no, it's probably fine. Juggler has to keep hitting this. So, okay, good. Very good. And this has to roll double hit. Okay, well, it didn't. That's okay. Maybe I stunned that. I will, I'm kind of thinking about it. I could do, or I could hit this for one, and then hit that for four. I think that's better. Or I could do spore on this, hit this for four, it dies. I mean, this is just three turns, right? I think it's okay. I probably do have time. I should. Probably mitigate some damage then. So yeah, I might do this then. The bones are not a huge problem, I think. Hopefully. Well, uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I'll hold on to that. Okay, self shield, who's hitting what? Okay, this is a three AOE, that's a problem. Five heavy. Okay, Ooh, oh, wait, that's good, that's good, that's really good. Okay. So, I can smack the boss twice, is that good enough? And I can kill bones as well. Wait, that's not enough damage. It would be four. What if I burst this first? That would be five and five, which is enough, right? So I can do this five, repeat five, and then kill bones. Wait, which one's targeting? Okay, so that one. I have to kill this then. Could be that. I think that's correct. Should be able to guarantee the kill here. Okay, you have to stop. You have to stop, my friend. This needs to roll bigger damage, probably. At the same time, I wouldn't necessarily mind... Just having the ping. I guess it doesn't matter. I, I should roll. Two mana. Eh. Hmm. 
Well, either way, I guess this is done. I'm stunned. Oh, wait, that takes damage. Taken from abilities and dice. Oh, that's not an ability. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, so I can not kill it, right? Even with the... No. Okay, never mind. I mean, either way, it's fine. It escapes. Okay, Whiskers. Replace the three right sides with one damage range copycat, one damage copycat, and shield one copycat. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I can't choose it, so it's automatic. There's only one choice. Charge skull upon death plus four mana. <laughs> okay. Dynamo. Add single use and era to the two right sides. Interesting. Damn, if only it worked correctly with this, but I mean, it doesn't. So, I guess this would be, eh. I don't know if Era on Revive is that good because, I don't know if many units die at the same time. Usually it'd be one, right? I mean, it's possible, but. And I guess this would be kind of annoying, but also kind of good. I feel like it's okay. I could see that being okay, actually. I don't know. So where do I want this? Copycat. Who'd best use copycat? I mean, it would be, it would not be, this is my best copycat unit, like the unit to copycat. Bloodlust would be good. Double use would be good. I almost feel like it should be juggler, but I don't want to remove a two damage cantrip. That just does not feel right. It could be, could be this. Like, what is it replacing realistically? The growth mana. I don't think that's a huge deal. I'm gonna put the cleanse as well, and then the era will go here probably. Imagine era on this. Wait a minute. Doesn't this remove the self-damage? Ah, but okay, no, but it's a double-edged sword, because if I don't roll it, then I'll <laughs> then it might burst damage me for even more damage later. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. That's a little bit scary. Well, whatever. Fanatic, I'd want a stun, right? Okay, Bloodlust. This is copycat bloodlust range. That could just kill that. Should roll. Three. Oh, the ghost is immune. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? So three mana. Can't trip two. Kind of have to hold that, right? To get the max bloodlust value. So then the question is, how do I not die? How do I not... How do I let this survive? Is it by repeat? I have to hold this, that's for sure. I mean, I guess the repeat would give me three mana, uh, two mana, two mana, yeah, it's not great, but it's actually not too bad. Two. Then I have to hit with this, and then I have to kill this, and then mana. I forgot about Spore. Was that? No. No, I want... I want to hold a mana here, I think. So I could shield it fully. Or I could just damage it once more. Yeah. Probably damage it. Probably this, then. Oh wait, I could spore now. But if I'm doing this, I should spore. Okay, yeah, initially I have to be a little bit careful with the cantrip. Whatever rolls it, I have to stop. Okay, so never mind, it's done. Jester. Jester has one damage engage flick. I has cantrip reroll though, which is really good with the juggler. Otherwise, it's going to be Seer, which has plus four mana, future. Hmm. 
eh. Like, kind of good, but I don't know if I have much setup, really. And this is like three mana single use. That's kind of... Mm, I definitely want Jester, I think. What a weird unit. <laughs> what a weird unit. It has like two single uses, and this is the good part, but... Yeah, really weird unit. Now, what do I do with this? Copy catch. It's really not, like, it's not that good to replace that, surely. Cleanse, nobody can use it now. Hmm. Awkward, I can't really find any use out of that. Okay. Poison to everybody. Self-poison for two. Yeah, okay, damn. Damn, Scrapper is taking a beating. Good free reroll. Bloodlust is good. Okay. Okay. Stun. Yeah, I would assume stun is probably worth keeping here. Two mana. It's better than the average. Yeah, I will keep that. Okay, nope. Ugh. Well, at least they get to roll. Okay, at least they get to roll. Okay, okay, that's good. Alright, one mana. I can do Spore 5 damage. I can do Flick, which is good. Should definitely do that. So now Bloodlust is 5, which means I can one shot this if I want to. I think I have to kill the... Ah, damn it. The carrier, I guess I can stun... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I should stun... This, I think? And then... Kill this, and then kill the bones. So it would be... Okay, it would be... Yeah, I guess it would have to be this way. Let me see how this ends up. Okay, wait, I'm still taking... Oh, yeah, but once I stun this... Or is it... It's probably better for me to stun the carrier, right? The 3 damage up top does not matter, so... Yeah, it's 4 damage versus 3, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Double hit. Not as good as a bloodlust here. Bloodlust. Three mana. Three mana. Two damage done. And I will just keep this, I think. So, start things off with a mana, mana. Three damage, I guess. I get spore. 4 damage, like this, 2 damage, dead. Okay. Replace the middle side with shield 0. I didn't check the achievement. It's actually so hard for me to catch that immediately. Did I have an achievement there? <laughs> I can go, go find it in the options, right? Ledger, most recent. Unlocks a mode nightmare. Okay, so it doesn't show me the item anyways. Okay. Mini crossbow. Top side with range engage. Hits the middle side with shield zero flesh. Plus one pip for each HP I have. Whoa. Now this is current HP, right? Yeah. Replace them with shield zero. Isn't this insane? Uh, I actually wonder if... I mean, there's no way I'm taking that, right? The two damage and get... It's good, but it's like... Yeah, no, I'll try this. I feel like that might be, that might be better than 
cannot die on average. Like shielding for nine is is uh, kind of ridiculous. So <laughs> I could also see replacing this maybe, but I mean this is basically undying. I feel like <laughs> unless well, it depends. If the pilgrim took damage, it is not. But it's a double-edged sword for sure. I, I don't know if it's correct. Hopefully it is. I guess. Wait, why did I not put that? Wait, no, no. What's the? Oh, never mind. I mean, maybe it's correct to do... No, no. Hmm. My most hated enemy for juggler. Not good, not good. Okay. Quartz. I guess it would be a good idea to maybe double use, but at the same time, I feel like blood is just better. Two mana isn't bad. Okay, that's not great. So two mana. Flick. What's this doing? I guess I'd stun this probably. Who's targeting? Okay. okay. So that will be at one, which is kind of a problem. Hmm. Maybe I don't do that. I just flick this and then I do spore. Oh, wait, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. It's not spore first, it's this and then spore. And then I stun this. And then I take seven. <laughs> okay, sure. There's no way around that, right? At least I don't think so, but. Okay, juggler, you need to. You're gonna die. You need to stop. Oh wait, the combo. If I roll the shield, wait, wait, wait. I'm going for it. You have to stop. Actually, no. No, no, it's objectively incorrect for me to stop there. <laughs> eh, maybe it was correct, I don't know. It was gonna die to this anyways if I don't manage to find a good thing here. Could find the... Okay, this is not good. So I need to somehow manage to stun this, which is going to be problematic. It would be something like this, right? Okay, that's too much. I don't need to go that far. Well, probably still worth. Okay. I guess. Weekend's annoying, but... I need to keep rolling stun at least if I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's fine. And then this I have to somehow kill, which is gonna be difficult. I mean, is it even possible? Jester. I need this to roll. Okay, wait. This. Okay, I have to stun this. There's no way around that. Which means that this is probably just dead. My only chance is to hold this and somehow roll nothing. I mean, there's nothing, right? So maybe I just hold this or I try to find a revive. No, revive is useless. So I guess I keep this. It's gonna die anyways. There's no, no way around it. And I could stun it, but then this dies, which is worse. Try to roll three mana, maybe. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, well. Chaos. 
Use a single aside. Use a side with four keywords. Ninja. Copycat. Copycat. Double use. Okay. I should flick. And then that's it, right? Damn. Okay, I need to keep rolling stun or something. <laughs> I somehow... Okay, I could do... No, this is pointless. This weekend again? Oh no, incoming, incoming. Oh wait, this is minus one from... Oh yeah, from the... Uh... Oh wait, it's minus one. Oh wait, wait, wait! I misunderstood what the what the spore does. It's plus one pip temporarily, but then it goes. Ah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't count. It doesn't negate its buff basically. So it goes on the base. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. So it affects the base face, not the. Temporarily, but that makes sense. I don't know why I... I mean, I thought it didn't work that way, but I guess it would be too strong, probably. Okay. Blood loss would be good. It would be good here, and then I need stun. Okay. And then... I mean, I guess this doesn't... No, this doesn't work. I could flick as well, though. What is the targeting? Oh, I have to kill that. I, I have to... Okay, whatever. I have to do this then. Oh, wait. I can just direct... Okay, never mind. I can just pop that with the spells. I forgot. Okay. So you can try to roll into Bloodlust? Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, we're there. We're, we're getting there. Jeez. Blood loss, sure. Uh, is it better than... Yeah, it's fine. Three mana? No? Okay. Just need one mana, it's done. Or two damage. There's two damage. Jeez, this is uh <laughs> this is tough. Target hero can use their dice again. Hmm. Agent, I love Agent, it's so good. But um Is it that much better than juggler here with the extra reroll cantrip stuff? This would replace Myko. So basically, I'd lose the Spore, which I think is pretty useful. What about this? Perma boost. Perma boost on, on double use would be okay. Perma boost on Juggler is very interesting, but then that could be a huge problem. Hmm. If I could combine both, I would. And I could perma boost the quad use, which would be very good. And this is essentially four damage. I think it is better than Juggler. I don't think this would be too impactful. I guess with the extra reroll, it's kind of nice to have cantrip mana. Yeah. You know what? Let's try it. Maybe this is good, actually. Era single use on the uh, mana gain. I have so many cantrips, I could probably roll... I guess the problem is once they're used, it's not that good. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Damn, Juggler's in pain already. Okay, this is really bad, actually. I think I have to not... Okay, this is good. Wait, is it, though? Yeah, Jester's getting targeted. I was gonna say if I could um if I could just nuke that, that would be best, but I don't know if this is actually that good, but it's probably better than most of my other faces.
Damn, having my juggler dead is so bad. Well, I could shield the juggler and then I can attack, but that would be after. Hmm. Oh, there's perma boost. That's good. Who's targeting that? Oh, I guess it's always, it's gotta be here or something. This is pretty rough though. Having my pilgrim lose HP is pretty bad. Does anybody have a cleanse? No, right? I think my juggler is just gonna die. I, I totally forgot. I should have replaced the juggler just because of that reason. I did not know it was gonna spawn with three. Oof, this is rough. This is very bad. Your self shield. Well, it would let this attack, which is interesting. Probably should do it. Then I guess this is okay. Okay. I mean, the juggler's gonna die by itself, so I don't really think it's a cause for consideration here. Or cause for concern, I mean. Yeah. I should definitely kill this one. And I have to somehow... I guess I... I can't kill that. Oh, I can, I can. Okay. I mean... Juggler's gone. It's gonna die anyways. I Hopefully I can upgrade it next to it. Because otherwise it's just perma-screwed. Yeah, I pretty much threw. I did not know it was going to spawn at 3. I did not pay attention to the max HP. I don't know what I could possibly do here. That would be good. It would probably be, well, yeah, it would be the 4 shield. Inspire. Hmm. Inspire. There's no way to inspire here, right? No. It might be... I mean, if I can somehow get this into stun range, which is not happening, right? So, is this a damage race? I guess it might be. Well, at least I should do that. Hey, why is it? Oh, it's weekend. Okay. Oh, it's pain. Oof. Maybe I should have shielded for that reason. Thank goodness that didn't proc. Use that. I need to. Well, I can't actually. Can't trust her zero. Oof, this is rough. The freaking not replacing the juggler was just a run killer, basically. Okay. 
That's interesting. The era might come into play big time here. Uh, it's not, that's actually not too bad. I mean, I want to start hitting the skellies, so I'm going to do that. Wait, whoops. It's supposed to be flick. And then... First, and I popped uh, one skelly. I guess, yeah. Damn, this is going to be weekend. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, this is rough. No cleanse, no <laughs> no unit, to, uh, no fifth unit because it just dies every time. I mean, I guess this gesture. What can I even roll? I mean, this is basically worthless at this point. So you lock that. I mean, dodge is okay, I guess. I don't know. Probably should roll once, see what happens. Okay. Stun is useless. Actually, wait a minute. Stun? If I could stun this, that would be so huge. I think I should... Can I do it? I'm one mana off of... Wait, I can flick. I can't double hit. No, that's not gonna work. So this is worthless then. Unless I hit the mana. If I hit the mana, it might be doable. I could try. I mean, it's not like the shield is that relevant here. Okay. Okay. So this, then this. And set. Whew, okay. Wow. That was, uh, please, I need to replace the damn jester. Uh, the, the biggest mistake. The biggest mistake. I was not paying attention at all. Replace the top side with shield one single perma boost. Okay. Replace the middle side with stun and enemy singles. Okay, I'll enhance one, I think is good. I have an idea. I'm gonna replace some of these faces with uh, other things. I'm gonna take this. I think it's good. I'm gonna do this for sure. And then I guess cleanse. Cleanse shield. Good one perma boost can probably go here. And I guess I do this probably. <laughs> Make it the most the least cantrippy possible. And then hopefully it survives and then we're actually in a good spot. No. Why are you starting off like that? What does this do? Oh my god. All monsters plus one. Oof. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is not looking good. Even if I get... 2 damage multi-hit, I guess I could flick as well. Ideally. Maybe I look for... Shield instead of stun. Two are hitting top, right? So I, at least, okay, here's the good news, is that if Juggler dies, oh wait, it's not even hitting, it's not getting hit by that much, actually. This is done. Jester is taking big damage as well. This is just too much, I think. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna happen. If I get the Giga Shield, it will die anyways to poison, so that's not even good. I could stun... Hey, what is hitting... Okay. What is hitting this? This unit? Okay, so I can stun that. Oh, 
Oh my god, it copied the cantrip. <laughs> okay, well. I did not know that even worked that way. That's interesting. Wait, that's really interesting. At least I learned something. Okay, three mana. That's decent. Can't inspire. <sighs> Wish I could kill that, but I... Oh, I can. Should I kill it? I mean, it would reduce a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I do. Eh, it's not too bad. I'm gonna save my... Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Wait. Oh, no, wait. That was going nowhere. I just got... That was deceptive. So it's actually... This. Okay, I mean, it's just, I need to upgrade that thing, holy. We're, we're still in it, we're still in it. It's not a complete disaster still. Getting close to disaster though. Very close. Okay. So now I can do... Two damage here. Dead. I guess I have to flick here and kill that. It's done with these snicks. Okay. Okay, it's not over. It's not over. <laughs> it's not over. I re if I can just upgrade the damn gambler, we're in a decent spot. Like, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Please. No! Oh, wait. This is fine. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, no, but then it just... Ah, like... Okay. Damn, Sorcerer is so good, right? Holy Sorcerer is so good. Oh, man. It's so good. Like, it's actually insane. But, um... I mean, this has revive, so... <laughs> uh, it has a revive, so... I kind of feel like I'm kind of locked in my decision. I'm still not out of it, though. I mean, this will get absolutely wrecked by pain, though. Yeah, it's gotta be this, whatever. Okay. And then we get this blessing. Okay, please. I can I candle. Add vigil to all sides plus one for each defeated ally. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this is gonna die, so not that bad. Yeah, I'll take that. There we go. Scrap. I can't believe Scrapper's my carry. And then who wants this shield? I think you want the shield, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Is this shield better or worse than this shield? I feel like it could go either way. Like, it could be better, it could be worse. Depends. I mean, I just don't want this to have an attack, basically, so... At least if it has shield, I, mean, I guess it just doesn't matter, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, let's hope the juggler doesn't die. Please don't roll cantrip turn one. Oh my god, it always does. Well, I could revive it. Like, it could die. And I wonder how this Vigil works, if I revive. I would assume it doesn't work. I mean, now everything has Cantrip, basically. 
I might as well. <laughs> Rip. At least I have plus damage, which is fine. Okay, that's not good. Okay. So I can flick this, and then this is dead. And then I revive. And now Juggler's back in action. And I'm not going to use the arrow spell. Freaking imps, man. The, the juggler's just so screwed. Like, everything screws it over. Okay. Low key. I always keep the seven shield here. I can do massive burst damage if I wanted to. I think it's better to protect that. Or here's an alternate. No, I, the problem is I need to shield this because it's going gonna, it's gonna to die. Otherwise, if it goes to one HP from undying, it will just die again. Which means I can't do the combo with the steel. Two damage Aram. Still not what I'm looking for. Alright, sure, I mean I guess. Oh, I can reuse it. I didn't con I mean I didn't consider that I was maybe drawing that, which is I mean most likely not gonna happen, but you never know. I somehow kill this? No. I can kill this imp though. Uh, Valk having pain is not a huge deal actually. It really isn't. Or is there a reason for me to shield it? I don't think so. I think I just kill this. I mean, we're finally kind of stable. Thanks to Valkyrie. Oh, but then it's gonna it's gonna be at half health again. Perma three, shield six. Oh damn, it's poison. That's actually bad. Do I do the combo here? Oh wait, if I kill that, yeah, probably. Who's targeting? Oh, it's targeting jungle. Oh, it's not poisoned yet. No, oh, whatever. I mean, nothing I roll here is good, right? Just doesn't matter. I think I have to kill this one, though, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, I can, I can do it twice. Okay, we're good, we're good. How much damage? Nine. Let's go. Clean. Very good. Very good combo. Very good combo. Oof. Okay. What is this? Reroll the class of wizard. No. Wait, uh, reroll the class. Is that... Does that mean I I don't get a blue anymore, right? I think that's what it is, right? Or no, maybe... maybe uh, that's interesting. I don't want to test it, but... Depending on what a class is... Like, I don't know if a class is like, you know, the gray, orange... It could... The way I would assume it works is that it rerolls from a blue to another color. But it could also just re-roll from a blue to a blue. I, like, I don't know if this is considered a class. Actually, more, most likely, this is considered a class. So it would re-roll into a blue. Never mind, I think that's probably correct. Nope. Broadsword. Iron Helm. Ooh! Iron Helm is, is uh, insane. Because that way... <laughs> that way I can finally use my freaking unit. And I think... I actually think this is probably better. And shield two on uh, shield two save thing. And in this case, I think this is better, right? Because if I roll a cantrip, these will get cantrip as well. So I remove I remove the self damage this way, which I think is better on average. 
Okay. Damn, I can't believe I might be able to win this run from my horrible mistake to a potential win. I mean, we're still not there yet, but I'm working my way towards something. Although we might die in this round, actually. <laughs> Okay. I think I might want to hold this actually. And I'm really hoping that this somehow rolls into self shield or I guess uh, no undying is not going to cut it. I think I have to hold this to not upgrade this ogre. Wait, this fight is terrifying, actually. What the hell? I might, I might hold that. Ugh. <sighs> okay. That is not good. Yeah, this is not good. I, I don't see... how I get out of here. Um... Hmm. I mean, it will be this, but like, doesn't really accomplish that much. Could use Inspire, but just doesn't do much either. So it's probably this. And then I guess I do have to amplify the damage. From something. Maybe. Maybe Ogre. This one. Depends if I'm planning on flicking, which I should. Oh, wait, can I kill one? If I could kill this, that would be pretty decent. I have four, two, two. Okay, so we're, we're actually good on that. Okay, that's not horrible. Uh, there was was there a way for me to kill this one instead? No, because it was two damage off, right? No, no, no. I don't think so. Okay, hopefully Juggler doesn't die. I'm, <laughs> even with the plus six HP. I mean, I guess with the plus six, at least it will revive with higher HP. I mean, I don't want it to die at all. Oh damn, Jester is. Pained as well. What did uh, this world shield cleanse? Hmm. Who's getting hit? You're okay. There's no way I'm saving the juggler. I might as well die then. I'll revive it. And I guess same same thing for juggler. Probably try to find the three mana. And then this, I guess, could, uh... Huh. This is a tough fight. Yeah, this is a really tough fight. I think I might keep this. <sighs> okay. So I can do... this... into... 3-3. Three, three. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Click first. Into... 2 and then 6. Okay, so I can actually do this. So I can do... This. Kill. Okay. Damn, this is really damn hard. At least my juggler's back in action finally. Double perma boost and copy count on double. No, no, I should roll. Okay. Well, it works anyways. Okay. Holy moly. Okay. Weaver. I kind of have to replace the dresser, it's just too low, it's not going to be useful otherwise. Troll King, Slade, okay, Slade 
is pretty weak to juggler in general. And Weaver is plus one for, for each. Whoa. Three damage to the top and bottom. Yeah, interesting, interesting unit. I would lose the cantrip though. But I, again, I don't think there's a choice because uh, otherwise it's going to be in pain. Now, who holds the perma boost? I think in this fight, I might have to bring this back because I really need the cantrip. I, I really need this to hit correctly. Perma boost. I mean, realistically, it has to be this unit. There's uh, actually, there might be a reason to do this because I have pain anyways. Like, saving a unit is not worth that much. Yeah, it's probably that, actually. Yeah, saving a unit is not worth that much for me. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, that's huge. Two hit, I can... I mean, there's no way... Okay, I think I need to save the two hit, and then... What can this roll? I think this is the best possible. I mean, no, there's a little bit better, but... But what if it gets to dodge? I would be kind of okay with that. One, two... Three... Four... So I, I might have to hold this, just in case. To kill the slate. Mana is not too relevant here, I think. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, perfect. Should I hold this just in case? Probably not. Now I, I'm guaranteed to kill that. Okay, well. Is what it is. Ooh. Crush kills the archer. That's actually... That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait a minute. This is gonna be pain. Oh no. Okay, wait. One, this has to happen. I know that has to happen. Now, the question is... No, two damage on Valkyrie is not a problem. So it is... This... Okay, wait, 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 wait. The most important unit is probably my juggler. So I think, unfortunately, it's going to be this. Oh, wait, no, I can, yeah, I can save both. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. And my, now my scrapper's kind of screwed, but actually my scrapper being screwed is probably better. It's probably worse than, than my weaver dying. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's just burst, burst. Weaver will be at two. I guess I can still use this, which is not horrible. I think that's probably better. I don't want this to be in pain. And worst case, I can maybe shield and then use the spell. Okay, if I find enough mana, I could uh, just full nuke this, but... Okay, if I can't save the... Oh my god, this is scary. This is very scary. It's not like I can move that. It's not like I can just... Uh, oh my god. Wait, I can dodge. That's a little bit less scary now. Okay. Perma. Perma boost. Okay. I think juggler's gotta go. I have to save my Valkyrie, right? Actually, pain on Valkyrie is not a huge problem. Oh, it will be though, because of the revive. Hmm. But juggler is so important. I need juggler. I think it's correct. I I, I lose all my damage if I if I lose the juggler. Damn, it just keeps it keeps rolling cleave. Like, come on. I guess it's better. No, I guess cleave is okay. Four damage. One, era, two. 
I might have to sacrifice my... I, I think I have to hold that. Now the question is... This is at 10, right? With 4 mana, I can do 2 sets of attacks. I would lose my Weaver, but I think that's okay. What is this hitting? Okay, that's good. So I think it's actually potentially correct to keep this, but I mean, it's it's pretty high chance in 2 rolls for me to get 1 mana, right? But what if I don't? Then we're screwed. Okay, I can't do it then. And then this has to stay, and then this... Uh... I mean, I could keep this to guarantee the kill, but... Yeah, it might be worth it. So I can do... This could roll Undying, which would be insane, actually. So I have 2, 10... Yeah. That's very close to being good, but nope. And that is... whatever. Okay. The good question is, is my Valkyrie dead anyways? No. Is there any way for me to save this unit? No, I don't think so. Unfortunately. Oh wait, I could do this. And then this, and then this, and then this, and then my scrappers hurt. Oh my god. It, can I kill that? I need mana. I need mana from the wizard specifically. Oh wait, juggler, juggler, juggler. Okay, okay whoa. I had to play that perfectly. Holy shit. <laughs> that was challenging. But I'm happy I got out of that. Yellow heroes only, plus one pip to all sides. Ugh. Oh wait, that's actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Pierce. Target flees if they have N or less HP. After. Whoa. So if I have like huge burst damage, which I don't. I mean, kinda. It's kind of interesting. I feel like Lion is most likely better than Standard. It, it, both are going to go on Scrapper, so I just have to like evaluate which one's going to be better. Um, this is basically like double damage, quote unquote. Wait, this matchup is terrible. I mean, in this specific case, it's probably better for me to have Lion. Oh, wait. I'm so screwed. I have Juggler in this fight. <laughs> oh. It's probably Lion. It's more flexible. No, it might be. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like for this fight, Lion's going to be better, but... Wants max HP. Okay, for this fight, I need the cleanse, right? So I gotta do this probably. And then max HP. I guess who wants, I don't know, who, who can hold this? I don't, I don't know. I guess Perma Boost is not that good in this fight. Actually, it's fine. I could do mana. Yeah, mana perma boost is fine. I'm gonna need the cleanse, that's for sure. Oh man, this is so tough. Wow, it went to the back immediately.
Okay, I rolled the cleanse, which is good, and I definitely want it, so I'm gonna hold it. Bloodlust is fine. I think this is fine. Actually, no, Bloodlust I don't want right now. Probably. Okay. How do I... <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, my juggler is going to be in pretty tr big trouble here. Maybe it's just better to focus on crushing here. I do, if I do double burst, I can save this from being in pain, but then I'd lose what? Three damage top and bottom? I'd lose six damage for that. But at least I'd be safe, which I think is better. I don't know. I, I do have the revive, but. So now my, I, I need to survive. I think I need to survive. There's no way around that. Is cleansing that there really that useful? I think it is. Wait, how did this get to... Wait, what? Oh, I copied... Oh. Wait a minute. No, that doesn't change much. Is there a way... No, there's no way around that, right? I could have used Inspire, I guess, but... That no, wouldn't work. Okay, so... So actually, in this case, I think giving the shield... The Weaver of Valkyrie is better. Probably Valk. Wait, what? Cleanse? Did it say... Wait, what happened? Why is this not weakened? How did this cleanse itself? Is the Weaver like... <laughs> what? Everything's weak. Well, not everything, but... Most things. I need the shield, I think, still. Freaking juggler. We are in trouble. I think I need to roll, at least for cantrip or something. Okay, shield, I gotta keep that. Oh boy. Okay, that's good. Damn, it's still taking damage. That's crazy. I could inspire and shield again, but uh, I think at this point I actually do have to start doing stuff. Otherwise it's a never-ending nightmare, probably. I have to kill this at least. And I can do that with Bloodust here. I get it. Okay, whatever. Perma. I'd rather roll shield, I think. Three mana. I mean, at this point, I think I have to keep that just in case. Like, there's no, it's too risky. I don't think this is better than most things, so we're not gonna keep that. Damn, it went in the back. Okay, this will let one of these flee, right? So that's not too bad, I guess. If I roll an arrow, that would be pretty good. So this copies, so it's ranged copy. So it won't quite kill this, but it's gonna be pretty close. But if I let it flee actually, right? So if I do this and then four, oh, but then this does less damage, but that's fine. I can crush. Okay, so that's okay. Do this and this. Okay, good. Very good, very good. Protect juggler. And yeah, I could not kill that either way, right? Oh, no, I can, I can. Whoa, okay, we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. Assassin, eccentric. So eccentric 
Would that be better than Scrapper? The problem is it would not be good with the Fierce, because there's nothing here. Uh, Descend is quite good. Whoa, this is not a good fight for me, holy. I think Juggler... Might have to go here, because Assassin is just very good, I don't know. After the first turn... After the first ability is used... Whoa. Okay, so Eccentric will have... Three Ws, but like, four damage is not... Nah, I think this is just better. I think Bloodlust is about equivalent to these two. The question is, is this that much better? Yeah, I would say... Yeah, it, it is pretty good. Question is, who wants to hold this now? Now I have no cleanse. Which uh, is what it is, right? Like, there's really not much for me to do. This is a very hard fight. Holy. I gotta kill the Banshee quickly. Assassin rolled a dodge, which is kind of interesting. It means I dodge a chomp as well. That's pretty good. I think I should do this. And then hopefully Val can somehow survive. Okay. Well, could definitely survive with that. Perma's good. Mana's good. Uh, this is not super good. That's better. Okay. It's that or perma boost this. Double inspire. No, it's not. It's not worth it. This is fine. I gotta start working on Banshee. Right? Yes. Yeah, poison as well. Yeah. Hmm. One damage to all heroes. Now, the, the issue with that is the amount of damage that these two are dealing is quite a lot, but... Oh. Could use one crush or one... I don't know. Crush is so good, right? But I don't know if I want to... Yeah, I guess I, it would be kind of interesting to crush here. But I feel like I need to destroy the Banshee first, so I'm going to do this. At least I dodged like two of that damage, one here and one here. Okay, this has to go. That's all I know at this point. If I can make this deal five damage somehow, that would be ideal. I think I can. Weaver. So this is dead. Pretty much 100% of the time, right? Yeah, just kill it with this. So actually, it doesn't need to deal more. Mm, I could roll that, but the shield is so useful, I think. There's mana. There's four damage. Let me think. So, this is dead. Then this is targeting that. They're both targeting wizard. Okay, that's kind of problematic, but I think I can maybe kill one of these. One of these. So, no, I can kill potentially... Wait, let me see. I could roll again, right? Can I start my playing my turn and, that, and then try to roll? I think I can, right? Problem is that I do need to protect this because it's going to take too much damage. So it'd be this. Six. Yeah, I can kill everything, but at the price of my scrapper basically saying bye bye. And also, I think this dies as well. There might be a better way to do this.
and it would probably be leaving one of these up, but I think it's just worse, right? I mean, the only way I could do it would be hit this, inspire, and then then shield. Seven, five. Okay, if I kill this, it would be... Let me try. So I can do this. Inspire. This. And shield. Okay. I guess that's probably fine. Era... Uh, it's pain, I can't... Uh, how do I save both my... I need shield. How do I gain shield? I need mana. How do I gain mana? <laughs> it's, it's like kind of impossible. This has to roll either... Yeah, this has to roll undying, I guess. This doesn't help no matter what it rolls. This can not help either. I should, might as well lock that. Because, like, worst case, it's dead. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's only one left on top, actually. No, 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 this, this is actually not too bad. So, actually, in this case, if it's only one left on top, I don't have to worry about that. So, actually, we're good, right? I can do this. And then six, and we're good, right? Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. Copy the middle left side. Oh, copy the left side onto middle row, or copycat. Left side onto middle row. That means I could have like full bloodlust with fierce. That's kind of interesting. Full cruel. <laughs> full this. Whoa, perma boost times four. <laughs> Wait, perma boost times four plus the uh, era. <laughs> Yeah, but then I, I lose mana cantrip, which I think is a huge problem. Mana cantrip is very, very good. Um, copycat. Copycat. I guess copycat in game. Uh, I mean, uh, this seems kind of interesting, like the full fierce. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Soul Cape, by the way, but I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Realistically, it's probably this, right? Like Bloodlust, Fierce. Yeah, I, I would assume it's this. I mean, there's not... Maybe this is good as well, but then I lose the poison, I lose the dodge, which is, has been like very crucial as well in some fights. So I can't... I'm not super happy about that. I can't believe I'm still using a scrapper. <laughs> also, it could be fierce here. I didn't really consider that. But then, okay, but then, then I have a problem with with this, because I don't know what to do with this now. I don't think this needs fears. I think, you know, it's fine. This is better, I think. Alright. Spiker. Spiker, Troll, so we got Engage, which is fine. We got Revive, which is not useful. Weaver, I probably want to roll that. We have Steel, which I don't really want to use here. I have to make sure my Assassin doesn't... Wait, is my Assassin going to take... Ugh. Taking way too much damage. It might be worth rolling for dodge then. Yeah, it's taking so much damage. Uh, 
At least, uh, trying to get shield, yeah. Poison is good, I guess. I'll probably keep poison. And then three mana. Could do double poison. I guess I keep that. Okay. Perma boost. Um, perma boost. Good perma boost wizard. That gives me two shield. Which means I can save both my units from pain. I never considered that actually. That sounds really good. And it generates two mana as well, so. Okay, interesting. And then maybe I target the spiker here because the troll regen will kind of cancel it out anyways. And then wait, what's more dangerous? Seven damage? I mean, this is just a bunch of AOE, which is kind of problematic for me. Yeah, I can save one unit, but I can't save multiple. Not very well, at least. What if I double crush? Hey, what if I crush? I should, no, I should target the trolls 100%, okay. What if I crush and then, I guess I kind of have to shield that, right? Bloodlust. Eh. Wait, I only dealt one poison? Oh no, it's canceling out with the regen, yeah. Okay. Yeah, AoE is a problem for me. It's the most problematic. Where's this going? Ugh. Okay, perma boost. Oh man. Hmm. Not good, not good. Who's targeting what? You're I like okay, 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 okay. Problem is that even killing this does not save these two units, so I might have to dodge here by myself one turn, and then the scrapper can kind of save itself, kinda. Wait, what if I... Okay, here's a good question. What if I do this, and then... I could crush twice, eventually. Boost that, and I could like double... I could double Bloodlust, potentially. If I roll it. Or... No, it's definitely double Bloodlust, okay. So this, and if I... I mean, it's high odds of me finding blows. I could also, you know, hold on to this, and I could hold on to this. And in that case, this these two would die. To bloodlust would be wait. Oops. Bloodlust would be five. So basically, effectively ten damage, which I guess would not work for this. So only one would leave. What if I deal this? It would be 12. It would still be the same situation. It would not help me that much. I would assume it's still worth it for me to do... To save both of those though. So it would be this. This, this. This. Oh, this is done. Oh, this is not done. Wait a minute. Maybe instead of this, then, I could do... Well, I should kill that always. And then I could burst to save this from pain, potentially. No, it will not save it from pain. So I guess there's no point. What about crush here? Yeah, crush is pretty good, I think. This doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try to roll into... Well, actually, it does matter, but... I could roll into Undying again. Hmm. Nothing else is in pain. I think it's fine. I'll just crush. I need Undying from Valk. Okay, this is pain. Wait, it's not pain? Oh no, it's not pain, it's four. Okay. This is three mana. Two shield. 
But era would be four, which is kind of interesting. So at this point, I'm definitely incentivized to roll that. Unless I think the... Uh, no, no, no. No. No, I should roll. Wow, it's so risky though. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, this would save my assassin at least, and then... I actually, I think I screwed up. I should, I think I had guaranteed win here. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's not like, wait, wait, wait a minute. So it'd be this. No, there's no, there's no lethal, right? It's so close, but at least I can kill. Yeah, I can kill. I can kill this. Which is fine, right? Or maybe I kill the spiker. I can kill next turn. So even with Inspire, it would not be lethal because this is lower damage now because I had to kill one. So there's no there's no real way around that. The problem. So I guess in this case, I just shield everything. Because this will probably die in one hit. Okay, so how am I gonna... The, the thing I have to solve now is how am I gonna do exactly... Eight? I think it's possible. I need to roll both of us, though. I guess this would be okay, but Cruel's better. No, yeah, Cruel's better. Um, this would be fine as well. I guess this would be... No, it's not good. Okay. So... This into this into this. Okay. Barbarian... Wander. Okay, Wander. Wander... I definitely won with Wanderer last time. Question is, okay, this there's no shot I'm taking this. Yeah, I can't do with pain. I can't, I can't do this. Exia. Okay, <laughs> on hit the attacker takes equal amount of damage. Wait, this is impossible, I think. I don't know if I'm beating this. This is so hard. Yeah, this is so hard. This is so hard for me. I, I don't have sustain. I don't, I don't know how I'm ever beating this, actually. I don't have enough defense. Ugh. Actually, unfortunate that this is uh, the final situation here. I mean, it might be possible if I manage to sacrifice one unit, but uh, it's got to be this then. So I guess shield copycat is something I need to keep here. I mean, it's winnable. I have some poison. That's the only thing that's kind of interesting. I do have cleanse as well. There's nothing else for me to do, right? Actually, undying is good in this fight. If I want to use spell... Yeah, undying is good. Okay, I could, I could win. If I manage to put undying on wander and then just have it deal the most damage... It could, it could actually work out. So now this is uh, the good question is where the hell am I putting this? It Realistically, it probably has to go on Weaver. The mana is not like super good anyways. And I have to Weaver this to get extra defense from these, uh, these things as well. I don't know if Era is actually that good here. Compared to... Maybe even copying... No, I need the mana. Okay, there's not much for me to do here then. Yeah, Era's fine, probably. Well, I don't want to do too much damage. Maybe I just put... I should put the HP here. Maybe I just take this off. Like, is doing, like, one big hit better than ping... Like, doing small hits? I don't think so. Specifically with the plus... From the Weaver, yeah. Nobody wants this then. 
And then I can add attacks on somebody. Probably this. Okay. Here we go. Alright, good luck. Ugh, it's such a hard fight. And the imp is starting off strong too. Oh, I get cantrip? How do I get cantrip? Oh, nice. Wow. That's pretty clutch. Hmm. This is a tough turn. First turn. Wow. Okay. This is not good. I, I think I have to roll. Wait, why is my assassin taking so much damage? It's just getting nuked, right? I need more damage. I, I have zero damage. I need damage. Any damage. Maybe I keep this just because... No, I can roll cantrip. I have to wait. I have to roll this. Please engage. Why is it rolling? Why did it roll double? This rolled three times, right? <sighs> so annoying. Yeah, at least this is fine. Where is this going? <sighs> okay. It might be better to crush twice, right? Instead of inspire. That way I don't take damage from... Hmm. It's either I take two damage on this or... Uh, Let me see. Let me see how this goes. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. It's this, then this, and this. Where's this going? Okay. Inflict pain. Jeez. I, I don't know about this. <laughs> this is not looking good. This. And that's not one, really? Wait, I'm just... I'm so screwed. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how to get out of this situation here. I think I have to protect the assassin, but then poison on Weaver. It's not that bad, I guess. I should save the assassin from. How am I ever attacking that? I, I don't understand. I don't. I do not know how to win this. Actually, I have no clue because this is gonna be in pain anyways from this ability. So I feel like in that case, I. I mean, there's no reason to attack here, I think, with this. I should have kept the shield, maybe. The only reason to attack is if I think the Weaver being poisoned is bad, which it might be. Yeah, it might be. Maybe it's this, then. I can't let my Valk die, but it has two undying, so it has a high chance of just surviving. If, okay, this is okay. If I get Undying, this will deal... Oh, actually, it does not work. Need Poison. Need Shield. Okay, good. Cantrip. There's Poison. Poison might be able to save me. That's the only thing. Do I keep the Shield? I would say the answer is probably yes has cleanse as well which is oh yeah it has cleanse that's not bad okay okay i'm dying okay so undying that means i i mean i should still cleanse right but no not really no i should shield this instead so now it's this okay now why is this in pain oh i copied it whoops okay the question is I, want, I think I want to double poison, which means that I have to make sure that this guy doesn't take too much damage either, so I'm probably going to do this. Okay. Thank goodness I, I have both the undying procs. <laughs> they both the undying faces. This might actually work out. 
Okay, it's not attacking, that's huge. Problem is, this is still in pain. And I can't revive. Ooh, Weaver's in pain. Hmm. There is a way for me to potentially get a revive off if I hold the shield, which I should. And I guess I can hold this and then kill the assassin myself. Okay. Now the problem is if this does not roll into one day, actually it's pretty high odds, I'm, I have to roll. Yeah, that's better. So this will be, bam, this will mana gain, which is good. Then this will die, which is fine, right? Then this will also die, which is also fine. But I kind of want to make sure this procs. Get well now, right? Oh, what? Did I die? Wait, actually, that actually scared the shit out of me. How did that kill? Wait, how did that kill? I thought it was times two. Wouldn't that be eight damage? Does it count the poison? I didn't die, right? No, no, it says, okay. What what happened? Killed, holy shit, I can't believe I won that run. Oof, that was so hard. Thorn, two, immune to abilities. Whoa. Wait, there are upgraded monsters? Oh, this is terrifying. The monsters are already hard as fuck. <laughs> Immune to abilities on hit damage the attack. What? Oh, it has two HP. It has two HP. Whoa. This is insane. So you have to you basically have to range attack this shit. Oh my god, this unit is insane. I don't know how I beat that actually. How how did it die? There's, uh, it was 8 damage, right? Did it just, uh, count, it counted the poison? Oh yeah, oh no, 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 okay, I get it. It's that it auto-fleed because I think it was dead to the poison and it couldn't kill my entire team in that turn, so it counted as a win right there because it was it knew it was going to die to poison. That's really smart, actually. That's good coding, but it's, it scared the shit out of me, though. <laughs> okay, anyways. Well, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, subscribe to my channel and, you know, like the video if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. This was definitely... This is very good news for the game, because this is exactly what I'm looking for, is a game that is actually so challenging, like where you have to play extremely well. And also, you know, you, you still have to get lucky a little bit, like you still have to get the right dice roll. But but your impact on the game as your agency on the game seems to be really high or high enough where it feels really rewarding to win uh, from a position that looks super, <laughs> super terrible, like. I thought I was going to lose in like fight for well when my when I had my juggler <laughs> that was just dying constantly to pain I thought I was going to just lose the run there but we actually beat it which is crazy. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching again and uh see you in the next one. Bye.